Hey pals, so I'm back and I'm really excited for this vlog. So I'm gonna be reading Cemetery Boys by Aiden Thomas and I'm super excited and the fact that Aiden Thomas is a trans guy as well, um, I'm just interested to see how he goes about writing transgender issues and um, like the experience. There are people who are writing transgender characters but not a lot of them are trans um or there are there are some that are trans but i haven't read those ones and so this one being from a trans author writing a trans character you bet i was excited you bet all my money was gonna be right here for this book so i'm just super excited to get into it i was like i gotta read this for october i've got to get the spooky season in with some good books so i'm starting off October with this, but pretty much if you don't know this book is about a trans boy who is trying to prove himself to his family and so he tries to summon the ghost of his dead cousin to figure out how he died and to prove himself to his family and He accidentally summons the wrong ghost and he summons the bad boy boy of the high school and then I'm assuming they fall in love and hijinks, ghost, scary things happen. Well, not like, like scary, scary things happen. Okay, so I just finished some Spanish, so I'm going to get into Cemetery Boys now. Um, I think I'm just gonna read for probably about an hour or so. That probably will get me a fair bit into the book, so I'm excited. Okay, so I did a lot of reading um so i'm gonna update you guys on like how i feel about things because i am that much <laughs> that much through and i have a lot of thoughts and a lot of feelings first off i am really enjoying it i'm going through really really fast which i kind of knew was gonna happen because usually with like ya i tend to read it super fast but yeah i'm really enjoying it i really love um the characters are so good. Like Julian is probably my favorite of all of them right now. He is so sweet and just chaotic and oh boy, best best friend vibes from Julian. Oh, I just really like that this is a book that people can pick up and kind of start to get introduced to what oh my god, my hand is shaking. Ah, uh, my hand is shaking so much. Um, but it, it's nice that this is a book that can be an introduction to people and people can look at it and understand where trans people are coming from and why we think the way we think or why we interact with things the way we do. So it's, it's nice to see that and it's nice to see it for a YA book because there's going to be teenagers who don't understand what their friends are going through or there's going to be teenagers who a, f a classmate comes out as trans and they they don't under they don't know what to go to and they're not going to pick up a non-fiction book and that's like 300 pages and, and read through it whereas a book like this it's very consumable and very easy to understand where the characters are coming from which makes it so nice to see people really jumping on the train of wanting to read this book god i got really serious but um one thing that is kind of like i, I i'm not too sure it's kind of I'm not as bothered with it now because I'm kind of gotten used to it a little bit. I don't know how to feel about how um, the characters, they tend to have their emotions explained to us rather than just like shown, um, which I find a little bit frustrating. Um, I do like to have the character have like descriptions surrounding the character and then me be like, they're upset. They're angry. I'm really, as okay, even though I, I said I wasn't enjoying the, the one part of, bit of thing that they were doing. I'm really enjoying it and I really like I really like the characters. I just Julian is Julian is everything right now and his friends are so cute. Anyway, I'm going to stop reading for now because I want to pace myself and I also have some other things to do today. I need to finish one of my like the Inktober um first prompt which is fish. 
I have like some down already. Like I, I have an idea of what I want to do and I've like already started sketching it out. But my idea is I'm going to do a goldfish dragon. D don't ask me how my brain works. It just does. And we're all surprised. This is a perfect start to October. Okay, so it's the next day. It's, I literally just woke up. It's like 11. Um, I guess I needed my sleep because I really slept in. Last night I finished up a bit more of my like Inktober drawing. After that, I pretty much just ate dinner and then played Among Us with some friends. So I really didn't get any more reading done. Today, I have a couple of things I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do some more Spanish because um, I haven't done that in a while other than yesterday. So I need to get back on my, on my journey. Uh, and then as well, I need to get a frame for this keeps falling off of my wall because tape and plastic on drywall and paint uh, don't like each other, I guess. So it keeps falling. So my mom and I are planning on getting a frame for it so that it doesn't fall. And I think when we go out, I'm gonna get a chai tea latte because it's October and I want the fall, the fall vibes when I'm reading Cemetery Boys. Yes. I'll update you later. Hey guys, I'm back from doing my little shopping trip. Dealio. So the print that I'm actually gonna be putting in a frame is this guy. I really liked it when I saw it. I wanted it in my room and it was $10 Reno's for the print, so I grabbed it. So I picked up this frame. I don't know if it's gonna fit as nicely as the one frame that I was thinking of, but I, I'm just gonna make it work. I don't think I will have too much of a problem with it. I just have to figure it out. I got The Tale of Two Cities um, by Charles Dickens and it's the paper mill press versions of the covers and stuff of classics. I already have Frankenstein and Alice in Wonderland in this. Really liked the front, so I decided, hey, I don't have it, I'll grab it. I'll have to rearrange things so it'll fit, but I'm very happy that I got it. And then I also got a couple of other frames as well because like I got like a couple of these um like two of these and then one other one I wanted more frames that I could actually put onto things but yeah I think what I'm gonna do now that I have the frame I'm gonna obviously put the print into the frame but I'm also gonna do some Spanish and then get to reading I really really am holding myself back from just like picking up the book because I have a feeling I'm not going to stop reading it until it's uh, finished and done. So I need to like pace myself and wait. I need to just wait a second. Because I probably would have read it all yesterday if I didn't stop. And I'm actually kind of glad that I didn't. Because there's some books that I like to savor. And this is one that I want to savor or stew on for more than one day. So I'm glad that I didn't finish it all in one. But yeah, that is the deal. I'm gonna get onto Spanish. Hey, so um, this is the, the next day. I didn't really do a lot of reading yesterday night. Um, I kind of just reread one of the chapters that I was kind of like confused as to the, like what happened and how it happened. So I reread that and then got to chapter 12. So I'm gonna go rake some leaves because it is covering the entire lawn. And then I'm gonna go right back into reading because I really wanna fucking finish this book. I, I'm really enjoying it so far, so I wanna see where it goes and I wanna see how things progress. But yeah, I'm gonna go rake some leaves, get my lawn in order. What's up? I just finished. I have a lot of feelings. <laughs> um, I am probably gonna come back later to get out all of my thoughts in a more coherent fashion, but my, my first impressions after finishing pretty much go like this. Holy shit, I'm so happy to be able to read a character that goes through the same struggles that I have and to see the acceptance from characters and to just be able to read it and relate to a character or just feel things with the character. I'm gonna stop there because I have so many, I'm not gonna be able to be coherent. You're just gonna see me rambling and 
you don't want that. So I'll come back. I'll come back later with my thoughts. Okay, so it has been a few days. How do I start this? Um, I, I'm going to start with the bad and then end with the goods. So one of the things that kind of bothered me a little bit was the ratio of like dialogue to description. Um, it felt like there was a lot of dialogue throughout the entire book. There was a lot of it. And then when it came to description, we kind of got shafted and didn't get that. And I feel like it could have been used a lot more to convey the themes and to convey the emotions of these characters. And on top of that as well, um, with when it comes to emotions, the emotions were kind of told to us rather than laid out for us to decipher, which was a little bit disappointing. I think the main, the main reason why it bothered me so much is that it, it felt like I wasn't trusted to understand what the characters were feeling. Um, with, for example, plays and with, for example, um, poetry, you have to trust that your audience will get it, that they will fill in the blanks and that you don't have to hit them over the head every single time with the theme, the ideas, the, the feelings of these characters. You have to trust that they will be able to put together the pieces. And it felt like by, by them not really trusting us to be able to get the emotions or the themes, it just kind of was a bit frustrating. It felt like at some points the um, exposition was repeated, which was a bit weird. Um, it just felt like it was explained to us and then it was explained to, Ju uh, to Julian. And then by the time it was explained to Julian, like we already got it, we already understood. So I feel like it should have just either been explained to us or, I or just been explained to Julian. I don't think we needed to hear it twice. I don't know, that's just what my brain thought. Um, but going into the positives, the things that I absolutely loved. Okay, so first off, characters. Oh my god. I want them to all be my friends. I, I want them all to be my friends. Uh, Julian especially and his friend group. So beautiful. I loved them. Um, oh my god. Julian is just such a sweetheart and deserves the most. And he's, he's the grandest. Yadriel was a character that you're just like, sweetheart, I wish the best, but you, cannot, <laughs> you can't have it right now. It was so sweet, so nice to see these characters. And same with Maritza, like, she was a character that she knew what she wanted, and she was very, she, she was very alive, and it just was so, it was so much fun to see these characters and the variety of these characters and how they interacted. It was so much fun. And the, I loved the, like, family dynamics as well. I love a good family. I'm gonna stop there, otherwise I'm gonna continue rambling about how I love each of the characters so, so much. Okay, so the world, so good too. I loved how like colorful and vibrant Aiden Thomas made the world so compelling and made it like a world that you wanted to be in. It, it was like really, really nice. Um, and that's why I wanted more description and that's why I felt um, so hurt by there not being as much description, um, be it for the characters or the world, is because I really, they were really compelling and really like, I wanted to know them more and I wanted to be there with them. So um, because the world and the characters were so, so bright, that's why the, the description and the, the, it not being as strong really affected me. Overall, what did I feel about the book? Well, I felt really happy about the book, obviously, as you can see. I flew through it, was having a blast. And that's all you can ask for when you're reading. I really just wanna have fun and I wanna enjoy the book. It's not like the perfect book and it's not like one of my favorites of the year, I wouldn't say, but it is a book that I do really like and I do really, really appreciate. So yeah, I'm gonna be keeping this book and I love it, love it so much. It's gonna be staying on my shelves. Yes, this was a really, really nice way to start October. Have a good October. I'll see you guys again soon. I have some other videos kind of set up. So see you guys soon and have a good one.